social media uh, and how you can measure ROI and how you can measure the success of it. This is a very important topic. I also feel it's an, a topic that we've not done um, as good of a job in educating and uh, showing people um, how to measure the ROI of success um, on social media. Um, many uh, business owners um, or marketers, uh, you know, often think of uh, having or getting um, results that uh, <clears throat> uh, that they don't know needs a process to get there, or they don't understand the logics of what ROI um, in social media is. So. This newsletter has a couple tools that you can use uh, to uh, measure um, ROI, um, just to, so that you can understand how things are working out. A good way to, to, to measure ROI, um, like on Facebook, for instance, is to look at your reaches, um, look at your engagement. Those are um, actual numbers. I mean, if you see a reach of 400 um, last week or last month, one of the things you have to ask yourself is, did you physically talk to 400 people? So if you could get your message out to 400 people um, in that medium, was that great? And what role does that play? Um, another thing that we tend to forget is when you're measuring um, ROI, we have to look at the fact that everything is not sales. Um, unless you have created a specific process for that. Um, there's nothing really in marketing that gets direct sales that doesn't have a process. So, and it's the same with um, um, social media. There is a process that you have to um, attach uh, to your social media strategy to be able to gain results from it. Just can't slap a post on and expect conversions to happen. Just Every, just like every other practice, there's a process for sales. And if you don't have a process for sales in your social media strategy, you really won't um, get it. Social media is all about awareness. It's about building um, an ecosystem. So um, um, measuring that ecosystem, uh, we like to call it market attribution, to see the things that are actually working, even if they don't really seem to be working to you, obviously, they are working in, uh, in the back. And so, so those are a few things to consider. We as a business ourselves are going to do a good job in uh, educating people on how um, to measure um, ROI. And there's many ways. Um, I remember her uh, a client um, saying, based off an ad, that he could count the number of um, uh, messages he got based off that ad, um, <laughs> off the thing, off his fingertips. And it's kind of funny because when you think of it, what if one of those messages was a distributor for your product? Uh, what if that message would lead to a whole new network? Um, so part of Understanding ROI is eliminating all what you know in your industry. It has nothing to do um, with what your experiences are or what you know. Uh, it's good to sort of pay attention to those that have, uh, uh, you know, um, have specialized um, in this to kind of understand and not just base it off your historic uh, things of what you know and what you do. Um, I can't go to a medical doctor right now and just start telling him <laughs> things that he knows uh, better. So based off of that though, I hope you enjoy the, the newsletter this week. A uh, couple tools there that you can use to start observing um, um, social media and uh, um, the, the analytics and understanding how it works.